All right, you guys, it's me. Hey, Aisha the It Girl. I'm at the 99 cent store, you guys. Now, I'm walking through, and this caught my eye, a portable gas stove. just has one burner, but I think it's kind of ironic that they have these right now at this time, uh, this period <laughs> that's going on right now with everybody. It's the PLB67. Um, you guys, $12.99 for a portable stove. You could use it, I guess, outside or inside. Um, yeah, the reason why I walk through today, we're going to do this walk through today, you guys, is usually I'm showing you a deal, but I don't want to show you deals today. I want to show you the empty shelves. So I said this over weeks ago that the supply chain will be interrupted, and I think one of the hardest hit stores will be the 99 cent store. So as you can see right here, the shelves are empty. There's big gaps in it. And I already, here's the sugar, no sugar up top, a little bit on the bottom. If you go down, there's some here and then there's none really there. So, um, and they do have coconut sugar. So that's a great alternative, you guys, if you don't like sugar. I, I haven't had white sugar in my home for over 20 years. We do a little brown sugar, but coconut sugar is really good. Over here, you can see the uh, noodles, pasta, rice, empty. Here's some more uh, noodles, totally empty. Um, canned goods, as you can see, tuna wiped out. Um, up here, I don't know what was up there, but totally wiped out. A lot of canned goods. Th these shelves would be totally packed. I mean, from the front all the way to the back, two or three high. And as you can see, there's nothing on these shelves. Um, like I said, the employee did say that they did have a rough day because I heard her yell it out. It was a <laughs> strenuous day for her and the employees. But at the same time, I know they, uh, throughout the day, 99 cent store stocks as they go. So they did get hit pretty hard, but I know some of this stuff was not even stocked because they didn't have the product in. So I think it's really important to be aware of what's going on, you guys. This is actually my first store. Um, I'm doing this voiceover right now. I just got home. I want to point this lady out. She has two baskets full of canned goods. And I don't see anything wrong with that. She's trying to stock up her house, and I'd rather her stock up now and be and not be in a panic maybe a week or three, four days from now when there's nothing on the shelf. I'm just saying. You can see the soups are totally out. Uh, paper goods, <laughs> as you can see, is totally wiped from paper towels to tissues. Here we have, um, it looks like a small palette. Um, it is wiped out though, as you can see, um, we're going to walk a little further in the store because I did want to take a look in the soap aisle, you guys, and I'm sorry, I'm keeping my camera kind of low because I really don't want to get anybody's face in these kind of videos. So we're going to swing around and we're going to go down the aisle and this is where obviously this is what, uh, health, uh, health items and whatnot. Plenty of shampoo on the shelves, but as you can see, where the band-aids would be, tissue paper, Kleenex, stuff like that, totally wiped out. Um, I've always said the 99 cent store is a hidden gem. A lot of stuff that you buy in the regular store, you can find it here for a great price. Uh, smaller portions, but a great price. So up here, as you can see, this is where all the hand sanitizer would be. They just kind of threw stuff up there. But as you can see, the soap is wiped. Um, they do still have some soft soap. I know some stores that have none at all. So um, like I said, 99 cent store, we did this walkthrough today to basically look to see what is slowly but surely being... I don't know, just not being stocked or cannot be stocked because the product is not coming in. Um, I walk these stores quite a bit because I'm always buying stuff, but I'm seeing a lot of um, interruption with merchandise, meaning that it is not getting onto the shelves, maybe because they don't.